Hey guys, it's Yvette, and I have my newest Maker Valley quilter box, um, which as you know, um, or maybe don't know, it was formerly the quilter's candy box. And this is the third box that I'm getting um, since it's taken, it's been taken over by um, Quilters Valley, or Maker Valley, Maker Valley, I'm so sorry. Um, so let's get a look. Um, if I'm being honest, I, like when it was still Quilters Candy Box, I was already kind of thinking that it was a bit overpriced. I still loved the box though. Like the, the things that we were getting inside still made me happy. So I was continuing with the box because um, when I thought about it, you know, in my head, I felt that I would much rather have it than not have it, right? So I continued to get it. And since it's changed over to Maker Valley, I just haven't really been all that impressed. And um, kind of makes me sad. And I don't like saying it. I never like to say that. But, you know, I have to be honest. You guys know that. And this is, like I said, this is the third box. The first one, I kind of chalk it up to... It was a transition and it was, you know, kind of hard to maybe to plan that kind of thing. So, you know, I was like, okay, let's keep it going, see how it's going to be. But last month's box, uh, you know, it was like I did like a few of the things inside, but for what we were getting, I, I really thought it was overpriced. So let's open this. This is the third one and see how we're going. Okay. All right. I have cut the tape. Ugh. You know what? Better put that down here. It's a tight box. I mean, they, it's put together like really well. I'll tell you that. Okay. All right. So here's what it looks like inside when you open it up. We have us a little note with their logo on it. it kind of looks like a little heart. It's an M and a V, but it looks like a little heart. I like that. Um, okay. Go say hi to Dad. Jim just got home. <laughs> okay, so it says, Hello and Happy May. Welcome to our USA-themed patriotic box. With Memorial Day right around the corner and the 4th of July on the horizon, I thought I'd send you a box of red, white, and blue sooner rather than later. If you're a new subscriber, welcome. My name is Holly. I'm just going to say her first name, peeps, because honestly, I, I have no clue how she says her name. I, I think I'm saying it wrong. So I'm just going to say Holly. We're on a first name basis now. Um, my name is Holly, and I'm so excited to send you our Maker Valley Quilter Box. My brand for quilters is called Maker Valley. My husband Dave and I run Maker Valley along with our parent company, which is called Stately Type. This month, I'm really excited to be sending you the following goodies. Okay, blue, 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 blue. I'm just going to, um, I want to see it as we go. Okay, um, I just want to give a big fat hug and kiss and thank you and thank those of you who are still here and stuck with the subscription box after it changed hands from Elizabeth to me. I'm really excited to be curating the boxes and I hope that you love the things I send you. If you have any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to shoot us an email at contact at stalytype.com. Cheers from Maker Valley, Holly. P.S. As a thank you bonus through the end of May, for our subscribers only, please don't share. Okay, so I won't because, you know, that's not nice. And so if you're not a subscriber, you won't get the code. Um, we are offering 35% off any one Maker Valley quilting t-shirt. That's nice. Discount code expires June 1st. That's very nice. Okay, because I like their t-shirts. I have at least one or two. Um, okay, PPS. Post photos, videos, or stories of your box on Instagram. Instagram. <laughs> I'm making my own thing up. Instagram, Facebook, or YouTube to win a free box. Use hashtag Maker Valley Quilter Box. Okay, so here we go. Got the little, I've got the little note. And let's see what's inside. Okay, we have a, a an enamel pin from Diary of a Quilter. It's very cute. It's a little starburst block. Or a starburst, because it's not really a block. But you guys know what I meant. 
we have a needle minder. And I know some peeps who's looking for needle minders, and there went the letter. You guys, I have the, the fan on like, you know, a million miles an hour because our air conditioner, which we just had to change, and I know I told you guys all about it, uh, is not working already. It, you know, it's the first time we turned it on yesterday because it was like 70 something degrees in the house. And um, that may be normal for some of y'all, not for us. Like when I'm sleeping, it's got to be like 68 or lower, okay? <laughs> <laughs> just does and so anyways we're, we're gonna work on that but look how cute so any of you guys who are looking this is it feels like it's cloth or it looks like it's cloth because I can't feel it and it says jam on it that's really cute okay um and then we have a seam ripper from clover I got something um from clover that I can't wait to share with you guys I, that I got it at quilt market you guys, I can't wait till I make that video. I'm probably gonna do it tomorrow. The video is gonna be like three hours long. <laughs> no, it won't be that long. <laughs> but still. Um, 18 Nifty Needles by Lori Holt of Be In My Bonnet um, for all of your sewing needs. And then it says binding. That's really, this is, I've, oh my goodness. Okay, I don't know if you guys will be able to tell but those needles inside are like regular steel needles, but then they have a pink coating up where the eye is. And it's about half an inch long, that pink part. I, that's kind of neat. I don't hand bind. I've always been saying, I've been saying I want to do it. You guys, it's a time thing. It's just time. And, I, you know, it depends. I, I need to... Yeah, okay, so maybe maybe with those, I'll give it a go. Okay, um, we've got two pieces of candy. Um, this is Utah Truffles, and they it's two of them that are Belgian milk chocolate with mint. That sounds lo lovely. Um, we got us a little present. Oh, okay, this is from Robot Mom Sews. I follow her on Instagram and um and I've I've bought some of her thread gloss before. So this is really cool. Um so we've got her little card and it tells you on the back how to use it. It's quite simple though. Um and then here is the little tin that we have. Ooh! Key lime pie flavor. Let me smell that. It's okay, so it's not overpowering and it's just a nice thread. Um, like, what, what does she call it? Thread gloss. I want to call it what she calls it. Okay, that's super cool. And then we have, we have a sticker. And it's a nice vinyl sticker. And it looks like it's quilted. That's so pretty. Um, okay. And then the fabric. It's a fat quarter bundle. We have five fat quarters. It's Riley Blake. And um, let me get it open so I can show you each one. And it says Riley Blake, but who does this? Who, who designed this? Just says Riley Blake. Um, and it really doesn't say, so let me see if there's some selvage. Um, so the first one is the little jam that we have a needle minder made out of. And it either says jam or it's got a little strawberry on there, if you can see that. Um, let me see here. Well, that one's not giving me any clues. Oh, okay, let me just put this to the side. Um, here's the second one. 
This sort of looks like something that Lori Holt would design, actually, but I don't know because I haven't seen this before personally. Uh, let's see if there's any salvage on this one. Uh, nope. <laughs> I keep getting the piece like this. Which is fine, you know, it just, so there is silver, just it's not the one that tells you anything. I'm trying to fold them back up, because you know how I am. There's something wrong with me. I need to just stop being like this. <laughs> I'll see it happening, though. Um, okay, and the next one is this cute little stripe. And, nope. I still got that same kind of silvage. Not the one with any anybody's name on it. And here is the flower print. Which is cute. Oh, this one has it. Okay, this one says, or the, the selvage says, Shortcake by Heidi Staples of Fabric Mutt for Riley Blake okay so what I'll do is I have an account with Riley Blake so I'll go and see if all of these prints are in that line so that we know if um, if this is all one line or if they curated it because I'm really not sure um, and then here is the fifth one this is the last one it looks like you know those little um, buckets that you used to get strawberries in now you get like that little red plastic thing this was just a little bit different. That's kind of cute. Let me see if it has the silvage because then I can check it on this one and see. But no, but this one does not. Only that one did. So that's the only hint I got. Okay, so again, that's the fabric, which is the red, white, and blue they were going for. for this. this was their patriotic fabric. And then there is a pattern... Uh, and the pattern is Yankee Doodle Dandy, a pattern by Holly for Maker Valley. And it looks, look you guys, the sticker. That's so cool. Um, okay, so the finished quilt size is 58 and a half by 81. Wow. We must not have gotten enough. No, we didn't get <laughs> We didn't get nearly enough to even finish the quilt top. I, and I'm not, I'm just saying. It's just a statement. <laughs> because um, to obviously to get a, a, fab, a, a fabric, a quilt that big, it says the fabric requirements are flu. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> it's like I just started doing this. <laughs> Four blue fat quarters, nine low volume fat quarters, nine red fat quarters, five five yards of backing, and two thirds yard of binding. And then you're gonna need something, um... oh no, okay, that's that's all you'll need. And that's a, that's a pretty big quilt actually. It's interesting. Use a variety of shades to give the quilt more depth. I like this pattern. I mean, I wish I had time to make every, almost all the patterns I get. I mean, not all of them, you know, excite me so much, but, but I like this one. I think that's really cool. Um, okay, so, okay. Listen, here's, here's what I think. The one thing I do like is that we seem to be receiving a nice variety of items, okay? Um, I think if you are probably more toward an intermediate or an advanced um, quilter, sewer, whatever, you might appreciate this a little bit more because, um, you know, we, we have lots of stuff. And so this is like, um, you know, after a bit, I guess you do need a new seam ripper. That's, you know, so this isn't really so bad to get another seam ripper. I think that that's um, a pretty good choice. Um, the, the needles, 
Um, the thing that I like about this is it's actually, a ne I've never seen these needles. And so, um, so I'm definitely getting something that I have not seen before. And even though I have not previously uh, hand quilt, hand bound my projects, to be honest with you, like just because it looks like that makes me want to give it a go. And that these needles are specifically purposed for, um, for doing your binding. So kind of exciting there. I personally like the pins. Okay. I know that there are some of you out there who, you know, say, Oh, you know, we got another pin, you know, but so, you know, it, it's kind of hard to say how you'd be able to like, um, satisfy everybody, but I personally like getting these. I mean, it's just an event thing, but I think that they're, that they're cute and I like them and I don't have them. So, um, that's really cute. And the needle minder is really great. Like you actually are going to hand bind your quilt. Um, uh, it's always great to have a needle minder. And these are also good for like cross stitch projects, which is an up and coming or a coming back type of, um, you know, thing like people are like getting back into it. And if you are going to be hand binding your quilt, um, it is really, really a good idea, in my opinion, um, to have some of this, um, what does she call it? Thread gloss. Um, it just does. It, it, it makes everything way smoother. And I think if you kind of test doing it with and doing it without, you'll see what I mean. Um, this is really good stuff. And so I do wish personally we got a bit more fabric, but I'm not sad. I totally love this. I love Riley Blake and I think that these fabrics are really super cute. Um, and I love the pattern. So I'm happy this month. That's my opinion. Um, if you're still getting the box, if, um, if you haven't, you know, dropped out already, let me know what you think. And if you did drop out, is this, um, a variety of products that would bring you back or make you sad that you quit or, you know, I would just like to hear from you guys and let me know what you think. Uh, so I will see you guys next time and I hope you have a great evening. Bye.